Back on the show this Thursday, Ryan Garrett back with us to update uh, the local food markets. He wanted to tell us about the Know Your Market campaign, what that's all about. Yeah. So, Ryan, welcome. Good to have you this morning. Good oh, thank you. you so much. Of course. Um, so, as you know, we're always sort of looking at different ways to showcase the farmer's market. Right. To really explain to people who's out there, what are they offering, mm, why, what should they're you about. Be, yeah, why should you yep. be excited to come to the farmer's market. Um, and so our new way of doing that next week is going to be a Know Your Market video series. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so once, once a day, every single week, starting on Monday, because Monday, October 24th is Food Day, National mm -hmm. Food Day. So starting on Monday, every single day we're going to do a what video. Is this? So this right here is actually Stacy Johnson from Rise Breads and Pies, and she makes so many things from scratch. She makes her own butter from scratch uh, that okay. she uses in all of her pies and all of her cannolis uh -huh. and everything that she that makes. That would explain it. Oh, that would explain how <laughs> yeah. good it is. And so she's going to have videos of her uh -huh. sort of doing what she does right before market, some yeah. of our farmers planting, growing. Uh, this right here is Jackie Harrison, who's uh, Oma's Handcrafted Soaps. Mm -hmm. uh, one time she made squash soap for us. Squash um, and that was soap. essentially her process. So she's going to show us some of her soap making process process and like strategies and techniques. Some yeah. of our farmers uh, will be showing us how they grow, how they plant, how they keep those plants alive, how they harvest, all that sort of stuff. So it's like, Alex. it's this behind the scenes look. Oh yeah, this right here is Anna, one of our other bread makers for mm -hmm. our tomato event a few months ago. That she made us delicious. This, yeah, the sunrise tomato bread. So wow. not only are you going to get to eat these things now, but you're going to kind of see like, how do they even get to market? I mean, what are, what are this pro what's the steps? What's the process? I mean, who is who is making this stuff? And yeah. you've taken so. it to that next level, haven't you? <clears throat> oh yeah, I mean, yeah, you have to. You really, really have to. I mean, it's one thing to set up a farmer's market and say, hey, we have great stuff, you should come out and take a look. But it's another thing to really want to convince people to buy into it, to oh, want yeah. it to be like a part of a community, something that people show up to every single day. And I think those behind the scenes videos, that stuff that gets people excited, I mean, that, that's what's important. Well, yeah. how do you utilize the produce that's available? Uh, that's a really good question. Um, you can always ask your farmers who are at the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. All of them have a million different recipe ideas. Yes. Um, but if you follow our Facebook pages, which is where this uh, video series is going to be launched, yeah, this uh, is... that's at facebook.com slash Alexandria Farmer's Market or facebook.com slash Pineville Market. Um, I'm constantly making stuff with produce. It's mm -hmm. usually pretty simple because I'm not a very good cook. Uh, like I'll fry okra or I'll cut up some squash and cook it for you. Uh, we know but, better than that. We right, know you're a good but, cook. Oh, uh, well, you know, maybe. Um, but if you don't it's know good that, for you. But it's... if you want some basic stuff, you can yeah. follow me on Facebook as well, and I'm always giving mm -hmm. you some ideas. Wonderful. This campaign really connected to social media. Oh, yeah, very connected to social media. We're looking for some other ways to get those videos out there. We might mm -hmm. show a few on KALB um, and have a few up on a different website, on maybe our Fresh Central website mm -hmm. or something like that. Uh, but please do follow us, follow us on Facebook. You're missing out on a lot if you haven't connected gotcha. to us. Now, what about yet. the kids? Oh yeah, so that so all of this uh, this food day and this cooking and this mm -hmm. excitement uh, leads to other things, and that's something that's happening this Saturday, even before our video series kicks off. Yeah. Uh, we have a group of I think five different groups of kids from elementary schools uh, in Central Louisiana who are going to be facing off against each other in a sweet potato cook-off. Yum. Yeah. <laughs> yum. yum. Did you get it? Yeah. I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so at Inglewood Harvest Barn Market, which we all know is uh, nine to one every Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, but this Saturday, starting at ten thirty, we have some kids showing up. And they brainstorm beforehand with their teachers and they have some ideas of what they're going to do. But they're going to show up with their own recipes and essentially have a bunch of people from out of town judging yeah. and they're going to choose a winner right there. I'm going to be emceeing the event so it'll make it even better. Oh, yeah, you can taste you everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, Lucky I'm, not a, I'm not a judge, but I'll get whatever the judges don't eat after right. or something. That's fine. What time will all that begin? So that's 9 to 1 is the market, but the cook-off is uh, 1030 to 1115. All right, Ryan, know your market. And that yeah. Check out that video series next week and come see that cook-off this weekend. There you go. Weather's going to be great. Yeah. Great fall weather. Ooh, that cool off. I'm so yeah. excited. We're so glad you joined us this morning. Good day, Sima. Thank, Thank you. you. We're going to talk home fire preparedness when we return. Stay here.